Our next guest is Catholic author and speaker Ann DeSantis, and she has a new online series on becoming more compassionate. Ann joins us now from Philadelphia. Welcome back to CFN Live, Ann. Good morning, Colleen. It's great to be here again. So you have something new for us. Tell us about this, this online series. Thank you. Yes, so in 2021, I wrote a book called Love and Care for the Marginalized, 40 Meditations, Spiritual Outreach, Reflections for Catholics. And I have extended that now into a speaker series where I talk about those ways that we can all consider how can we become more compassionate to those who are around us, those in our daily lives, and those people who do feel marginalized. You, you break it up into three sessions. Can you tell us, okay, let, let's go through each session, you know, how, how this works. Yeah, so the first part of it is really just the awareness. And all of us are living in different vocations and in different states of life. But we're all, for the most part, we're all around people, whether it's family, people we work with, people at church. And it's just bringing that awareness to who are those people in my own life who do not feel they have that love and support they deserve. Another section would be the act of listening. And that is being able to give a person the gift of a listening ear. So many people don't feel heard and so many people don't feel that they have someone to share the things that are going on in their life that are troubling to them. So that would be that second part. And prayer, that is always that most important part for all of us as Catholics and as Christians is praying for those people in our lives who really just feel that they could use that extra support mm. and, and the support of the church, because, you know, we are all the church and the church does care. And I'm also the executive director for a nonprofit that offers that type of pastoral support and talking to so many people during, you know, in my daily job has helped me to see those areas of families in crisis and people who don't really you know, feel part of the group. You know, there's so many people who just feel outside of that clique, whether it be inside of a family, extended family, church setting. Uh, and that's really what I'm trying to do is bring that all together for people so that they can have that greater awareness, which is the first step. Well, when you're talking about, you know, love and care for the marginalized, and uh, sometimes we don't even realize that there, you know, there's somebody among us who is marginalized. We, we have, like you're saying, become more aware that, you know, we need to reach out to more people. That's right, that's right. I mean, we saw during the pandemic, people who weren't able to get out of the house, people that we know, whether it be neighbors, people that were in the hospital, people who were sick, and we can all do a little something. And it, you, when we think about doing good works, many of us think of giving lots of money or time, but sometimes all it takes is a phone call or a text or just some kind of uh, kind act that we can do for someone going to the grocery store, but showing people that we're there for them and that we support them during the toughest times of their lives. That's and that is my hope is just to educate people in that way and, and also as Catholics too, to, to bring that together, that being a Catholic isn't just the catechesis part of it, the learning part of it, the knowledge, it's actually putting it into action to those people that are in our daily lives. Other ways that you, I think it's so important that you keep saying, it's, it's the simple things. Um, and, and what are like, okay, today, give me a, like, give us some examples of just to more, some more, it's the simple things we can go out and really make somebody's day. That's right. I would just say that for everyone watching, just consider your daily life. You know, most of us are around a family member or family, or even if you live alone, there's at some point in the day that you might interact with someone. And so I think the first step is just realizing the gift of a smile, smiling at people mm -hmm. um, and not in a false way, right? I'm not talking about a fake smile, but just really an, an invitation to friendship. It makes people feel part of the group. Um, I think sometimes even at church, people who attend Sunday Mass or daily Mass, is that making that outreach and, and being a welcoming community. I know over this past year and over these next two years, uh, Pope Francis has opened up the Worldwide Synod, and it's really like a worldwide listening session. And so part of what I'm doing with this Becoming More Compassionate series is really kind of an extension of that. Is, is realizing that as a church, that it's a job for every one of us. It's not just a job for those who work in parishes or work at archdiocese or diocese. Mm -hmm. 
It's a job for all of us as Catholics and Christians and part of the human family to be kind, but yes, also to be nice to people, <laughs> right? Nice. I mean, it really makes a difference. So are you doing this all online or you, you, it's a speaking series where you go to parishes? Both, okay. both. I've done it online. One online session I did, it's on my website too, uh, was with St. Joseph's College of Maine I did recently. That's actually my alma mater where I earned my master's in theology. But I'm also doing them for local parishes where I live in the greater Philadelphia area. And so if somebody's watching, even outside of the Philadelphia area, I can travel to <laughs> or do something online. It would be great to do that because it's really an extension of what's going on with this worldwide synod and that listening session, right? That's what we all need to do and be part of. So, yeah. Is it, listening it, to others. Exactly. Caring about what they think. <laughs> Something so simple as just listen yeah. and just smile right. today. Be nice. Smile yeah. to somebody. And again, the, just have to go to your website, right, to get more information? Yeah, my website is just simply my name. It's andesantis.com, and it's up on the screen right there. And I have a speaking events page, and if you go to that, you can actually see some examples of the other talks that I've done and places that I've done talk. And, you know, I'd really be thrilled to do that for diocese, archdiocese, churches, and, you know, even nonprofits or organizations would love to do that. Okay. And thanks for joining us. Thanks for updating us on your latest project. Thank you.